So after some thought, I feel like I might know who the champion of the Paldea region is in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I might even know who the Elite Four is as well. And I am about to tell you how I know this in today's video. Let's get into it. So this theory was actually one that was created by one of my editors by the name of Toxiquid, and he was kind enough to gift me the theory to be able to make a video on it, but he also does content of his own, so be sure to check his channel out, a link to which will be in the description below, and a big shout out to him. When it comes to who the champion of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is though, I am decently certain that it's actually Clavel, the headmaster of the academy that you will be attending in the games. Now, a lot of people, including myself, have speculated that he might also be the main antagonist, because he does have kind of a suspicious energy about him. On top of that, I mentioned in a previous video how it seems that the Pokemon League is going to be somewhat different in this game in some way, as it states on the official website that you're aiming for a champion rank, and that you'll take part in something known as the Champion's Assessment once you've gathered all eight gym badges. I speculated that this might mean that there is no single champion, and we might not even see an Elite Four either as a result, but this theory has actually convinced me otherwise. While I am sure that the League experience will indeed be somewhat different to the norm, just as I stated previously, I think there is actually going to be a champion, and that it could indeed be Clavel. The reason why this is, is because whatever this Pokemon League experience is going to be, we know one thing for certain, and that is that it is known as the Champion's Assessment, as in a test, and it's even specified as a test on the official website. So it seems that there is a certain academic flavor to it, which isn't surprising given the overall academic flavor of the games themselves, and that certainly suggests that it could be tied to the academies that we are attending in some way, and therefore, what better person to serve as champion of the region than the highest man on the totem pole at the academy, the headmaster himself, Mr. Clavel. There's more to it than just that, however, because if you look at Clavel's design, you'll also see a bunch of Pokeballs attached to his jacket, specifically six Pokeballs. Six is a significant number when it comes to Pokemon, because that is the maximum amount of Pokemon that you can have on your team at any one time, which means that this is implying that Clavel actually has a team of Pokemon himself, and not only does he have a team, but he has a full team of six, which very few trainers in the Pokemon world actually have. This means that not only does Clavel battle Pokemon himself, but that he is an extremely strong trainer. One that, if this theory were to hold true, would absolutely be worthy of holding the title of champion. Additionally, when it comes to the Elite Four side of this equation, it looks like we might have actually seen who they could be in the latest trailer as well, which also helps to confirm Clavel all the more as a possible champion. In this screenshot of the latest trailer, it shows Clavel standing atop a stage, facing an audience with four other characters standing alongside him. These characters are clearly distinctive, and not just NPCs, and the fact that there's four of them alongside Clavel, who already has given reason to believe that he could be Paldea's champion, really makes it seem all the more possible that not only is he in fact the champion, but also that these four that are standing alongside him are Paldea's Elite Four. We'll have to ultimately wait and see if the Champion's Assessment format proves to be any different to what we've come to know, but as far as who could be running it, it certainly seems like these five are the prime candidates.
What do you guys think about this though? Let me know all of your opinions about this in the comments below and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. With that said, I will be back with another video very soon and until then as always, thanks so much for watching this one, I really appreciate it and I will smell you guys later.